Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to make a very simple, small, pineapple shaped cake. So this is just a vanilla cake, there's three layers, the six inch round. As you can see, I'm not even worrying about trying to make them perfect because I'm going to end up carving them. And I'm using a long serrated knife, it's kind of a flexible knife. Um, I would use it to cut tomatoes or some other, you know, um, softer fruit or vegetables. So I'm just going to carve down and dome off the top a little bit and then I'm going to take a little bit off the base as well where you would actually see the bottom of the pineapple. And the cake has been chilled in the freezer for about an hour and a half to two hours, each layer individually wrapped in plastic wrap, just so it's nice and cold and partly frozen um, when I go to carve it. You just get a lot less crumbs that way. Um, and now I'm just going back with my vanilla buttercream and I'm putting a nice crumb coat on the cake, just kind of locking in all those crumbs I created and evening out any bumps or, you know, lumps kind of within the cake. And this just kind of locks in the moisture, but also gives your cake a much more smooth shape. And once I've got that on there, I'm going to go back with a scraper. And normally, you know, you would want smooth edges, but here I'm using a flexible scraper, as you saw me just bend it there. It's a really thin uh, plastic scraper, and it kind of does really good around that top edge where it's nice and domed off. And then I'm using this large tip, and it looks kind of like a half moon or a U. Um, cut out on the end of it, and it's a pretty large, almost a cupcake size tip. And so then again, I'm using the yellow vanilla buttercream, and I'm just pulling straight up. They're not perfect. This, like I said, this is a very simple pineapple cake, so these are not going to be perfect, but they do get the job done by giving it texture and a little bit of depth. And I'm just going all the way around until I get to the very base. Now here, where I'm trying to get around the bottom, it is kind of hard to get around the bottom because that tip is rather large, but don't stress over it. I'm going to put a, little, a few buttercream leaves at the base um, to kind of border it off. And now here I've got a smooth Viva paper towel. I'm not pressing very hard. I'm barely just touching all the edges of those pieces I just popped on. Um, just to bring them in to make sure they're attached really well to the crumb coat. And then I'm, of course, you know, bringing them in on the base as well down there towards the bottom trying to get it a better, um, a better look on the very base. But again, you don't want to press hard, you're just barely touching. And then this here is a leaf tip and I am just piping a really simple leaf border all around the bottom to cover up any gaps in the yellow icing and to also just give it a little bit more decorative look. These are fondant and gum paste leaves. I actually did a blend of fondant and gum paste. Um, the gum paste just makes them dry a little bit harder. And I let them sit for a few hours on a powdered sugar sprinkled um, cardboard cake board, but any tray or, or platter would work. And just so they dried hard, there's no wires in those. And then you saw me with a dry brush just kind of dust off some of the powdered sugar. And now I'm just popping those in the top. Again, I don't think any wires are required um, because the leaves aren't too big. And now I'm using a steamer. And this is actually used to dry your clothes. Um, I got it at Bed Bath & Beyond actually for like $12. And it is one of my favorite tools. Um, once the steam comes out, you steam it just on the fondant and it makes it nice and shiny. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.